hello everyone. Well, let's continue with this uh, psychology of developing a warrior. Now, when you're uh, building uh, a person up, you have to define all the components that you're building. When we look at this alchemically, we're building a warrior's body, we're building a warrior's heart, and we're building a warrior's spirit. The terms I use for these is the spirit is the mental body, heart is the astral body, and then the physical body, the physical. So to really get your head around this, if you have a look at the text Initiation of Hermetics and you go to the practical side, they've got exercises of developing the mental, the astral and the physical. So this gives you a sense of, ah, that's what I have to build in order to build a warrior but you have to build it in a very specific way. It's all about physical stress adaptation, emotional stress adaptation, and mental stress adaptation. And you form the exercises and the stresses to produce the particular type of, of uh, warrior that, that you want. Now, the first key to this is how we, we get into the zone. What does it mean to get into the zone? Now, 1-2% to of people naturally get in the zone. And that's why 1-2% to of people are actually successful in life. And most other people fail. That's just the reality of things, you know. 98% of the wealth is held by 2% of the population. And, uh, and so forth. Now, <clears throat> let's break this down. What does it mean? How do you get into the zone? Let's define what not being in the zone is. A person goes to work. They astrally and emotionally hate their job, and their mind is dwelling about the next holiday. They're unsynchronized, not in the zone. So that is opposite to what we want. A person who is concentrated on a task and emotionally is synchronized to that, uh, that task, that synchronicity is very, very, uh, very important because if they don't synchronize properly, they're going to have unconscious resistance to success. So their self-image about what they're doing is super, super important. Now, as you develop, a, develop the skill of being mindful in the present moment, your astral unconscious relationship to the action is going to dictate whether you're able to enter into the zone or not. So... To be in the zone, what are the metaphysical parameters? You have to be in a timeless state as you're there. So we have the exercises for the first transformation to neutralize any emotional resistance and static to be in a timeless feeling in relation to the activity you're doing. We have the second transformation exercises which take you into an open space. That you're not, your mind is not in a stress state in a small space, your mind is in a release state in an open space. So, these are the parameters for entering into the zone. Once you understand them, and you've trained them, you can enter into the zone quickly and efficiently. Now, 1-2% to of the population have figured this out. They have an unconscious relationship to the activity, so they can enter into the zone relatively quickly. So, this is your first starting point. Alright, so, I'll, uh, I'll break these down into to shorter videos so that you can uh, take notes on these principles and apply them. People who have gone through the three transformations training through my uh, Vimeo course and through my workshops, they'll know what I'm talking about straight away and they'll be able to start applying this. Now, the entering into the zone is relative to the activity you're doing. It's different for each activity. If you're a pianist, it's very, very different to a runner because the type of physical exertion and where you're releasing is different. So next video, we'll go into these releasing mechanisms and how to apply the zone to recovery, how to apply entering the zone to charging your body up, how to uh, apply to exerting peak power for striking and, uh, and different applications. Okay, see you in the next video.